He is known for his research in various fields of biology, from protein structure to cognitive functions. He is recognized for his notable scientific achievements, including the identification and purification of the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor and the theory of epigenesis by synapse selection. His name is Jean-Pierre Chanjouz. In the world of biology, one name stands out, Jean-Pierre Chanjouz, a renowned French neuroscientist. His research spans various fields, from studying the structure and function of proteins to exploring the development of the nervous system and cognitive functions. Shenzhou's contributions to the scientific community are vast and significant. One of his most famous achievements is the MWC model, which has greatly advanced our understanding of biological processes. Additionally, he made groundbreaking discoveries in the identification and purification of the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor, as well as the theory of epigenesis through synapse selection. While Shenzhou's is widely recognized in scientific circles, he is also known to the general public for his intriguing ideas about the connection between the mind and the physical brain. In his book, Conversations on Mind, Matter and Mathematics, Shenzhou's presents his belief that the nervous system operates in a projective manner rather than a reactive one. He argues that our interaction with the environment does not instruct us, but rather leads to the selection of pre-existing internal representations. This perspective challenges traditional notions of how the mind and brain interact, and has sparked fascinating discussions among both scientists and the public alike. Jean-Pierre Chanjouza's work reminds us of the intricate relationship between biology and the human experience. His research has not only deepened our understanding of the human brain but has also opened new doors for exploring the connection between our thoughts and the physical world. Chanjouza's legacy serves as a testament to the profound impact that scientific inquiry can have on shaping our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. In 1970, Jean-Pierre Chanjouz made a groundbreaking discovery in the field of pharmacology. He successfully isolated the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor found in the electric organ of eels. This was a significant achievement as it marked the first ever isolation of a membrane pharmacological receptor. Chanjouz was able to identify this receptor with the help of a snake toxin, which had been purified by Taiwanese researchers C.Y. Li and C.C. Chang. Another scientist, Ricardo Miletti, also reported the isolation of the receptor later on. Shanzhou's and his team developed improved purification methods, which led them to propose that the receptor was composed of a pentameric protein. This groundbreaking finding was quickly confirmed by the team of Arthur Carlin. Moreover, Shanzhou's group was among the first to determine the primary structure of the receptor subunits, a parallel achievement to the work of Shosaka Numa and Stephen Heinemann. Over the next few decades, molecular biology techniques were employed to unravel the tertiary and quaternary structures of the receptor. The location of the ionic pore, composed of the second transmembrane segment, was identified. This discovery was also made by the groups of Shosaka Numa and Ferdinand Hucho. Additionally, the molecular basis of ionic selectivity within the transmembrane domain was elucidated. The binding site for acetylcholine and nicotine was found to be located at the interface between adjacent subunits. Shanjouza's quest to understand the structure of the nicotinic receptor reached its pinnacle with the publication of the atomic resolution structure of a bacterial homologue in both the open and resting conformations. This discovery supported the concept of a symmetrical concerted opening for channel gating, in agreement with molecular dynamics simulations. Jean-Pierre Shanjouza's remarkable scientific achievements in unraveling the structure of the nicotinic receptor have provided invaluable insights into the functioning of this important protein. His work has paved the way for further advancements in the field of pharmacology and has deepened our understanding of how certain substances interact with our bodies. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.